MCTV is on the air. One, two, three. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. the tub I put my feet on the floor I wrapped the towel around me and I opened the door and then a splish splash I jumped back in the bath well how was I to know there was a party going on there was a splishing and a splash reeling with the standing by live in our Mifflin County television studios here's your MCTV anchor team Good morning, Huskies. Our apologies. The swim team won on Tuesday. Today is Thursday, January 16th, the day for the six-day cycle. Please rise for the national anthem and pledge to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention all students and faculty. Stop by the student store to pick up a Huskies basketball hoop hat for just $15 so you can support the boys and girls basketball teams. And while you're there, you can get a Mifflin County basketball cancer shirt for just $14. Don't miss out. Attention faculty and staff, the latest Reader's Book World display is set up in the IPC rooms on the first and third floors. The delivery date for these materials is January 23rd. Concert choir lessons for today. Period 2, Adam Sheets, Garrett Divin, Luke Leiter, Owen Damacantonio. Period 4, Melissa McDormand, Trista Peck. Period 5, Emily Zilstra. And period 6, Sydney Kyle. The Sadie Hawkins dance will be held on February 1st and will last from 6.30 to 9.30. Tickets are on sale now and cost $5. Attention seniors, local scholarships are starting to come into the guidance office. Be sure to stop in to pick up applications for scholarships for which you are eligible. If you have any questions, just ask your guidance counselor. The next Upward Bound meeting will be next Wednesday from 320 to 420 in A308. We will be celebrating the end of the first semester with the pizza party. Our MC Matt Men and Lady Husky basketball teams were both winners last night. Here's Haley with sports. Yesterday in MC Sports. Our girls basketball team finished their three-game road trip with a 38-21 win at Chambersburg. Sophomore Kay Canable led the way with 17 points. The win evens our girls at 6-6 six six on the season. On the mats, our wrestling teams traveled to East Pennsboro and dominated the match with a 59-18 victory. Pins on the night came from Jacob Kreps, Hayden Crom, Blaine Davis, Nick Allison, Ethan Kaufman, Bryson Hassinger, and Trey Shoemaker. Our mat men remain undefeated in dual meets at 10-0. And in boys basketball, our Huskies lost at home to Chambersburg 58-33. Today in MC Sports, our wrestling team has an away match at Harrisburg. The informational meeting for spring sports will be Wednesday, January 29th in the MCHS Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. Interested spring athletes and parents or guardians are encouraged to attend. Spring sports registration opens February 1st. A reminder that lacrosse is a spring sport. If you are thinking about playing lacrosse, open gyms are a great place to get a head start and try something new and different. There's only one open gym time for girls lacrosse this week, and that's today from 3.30 to 5.30. That's a look at sports. Gabby, what's for lunch? In the Husky line, buffalo chicken, flatbread, baked beans, steamed carrots, and milk. And in the griller, cheeseburger or grilled chicken sandwich, and it's salad bar Thursday. Gabby has one final announcement. Good luck today to the following 15 choral students who are representing our school at the PMEA District Choral Festival. Anna Curry, Abby Liebegott, Sammy Lilly, Anna Rouse, Kirsten Druckenmiller, Lizzie Miller, Maddie Bowmaster, Megan Baumgartner, Ashlyn Ritzman, Katie Rupert, Danny Garner, Brody Price,
Gabe Kulpetzer, Aaron Steronka, Clayton Maxwell. They will be leaving for Kerwinsville at 8.30 this morning. Again, good luck. That's all for today. She's Gabby and I'm Adam. Remember, tomorrow is an Act 80 day, so students, enjoy your three-day weekend. Have a husky day.